Hey guys, today we're gonna to answer a question I'm sure a lot of you have when you come into our store to buy a stick. Do I need to buy the 300 plus dollar top of the line stick? Can I save some money and get the midline stick? Or do I save a lot of money and get the low end stick? Today we're gonna to figure it out. Okay, so today we have the CCM FT5 Pro, FT5, and FT475. The FT475 is gonna be your low end stick, entry level price point. It's gonna be a little bit heavier, but it's gonna be light on your wallet. Then we have the Jetspeed FT5. This stick shares a lot of similarities with the FT5 Pro. They have the same shaft shape, same blade, but when you jump up to the FT5 Pro, you're getting the Nanolite carbon layering and Sigma STP material, so it's gonna be a lighter stick overall. All three of these sticks are in the same Jetspeed family, so they all share the hybrid kick point. To figure out which stick is really worth it, we taped all of these up, FT5 Pro, FT5, FT475, and we're gonna let staff members at our store shoot them and see if they can figure out which one's the top of the line, which one's the mid, and which one's the low end. In my honest opinion, you can definitely tell the FT475 from the Jetspeed 5 Pro, but if you take this out of the equation and you compare these two sticks, they're almost identical, so I think our staff's gonna have a bit of a challenge with these ones. Let's take these sticks to the shooting room and I'll explain our challenges. First test with these sticks, we're gonna have four pucks. I'm gonna see if we can hit the targets with all four pucks. Three out of four, not bad. Two out of four with the FT5. Next up, FT5 Pro. Three out of four with the FT5 Pro. Honestly, pretty close challenge. The FT475 and the FT5 Pro got the same number. Um, overall though, the FT5 and FT5 Pro felt the best for sure. Um, just when you're stick handling, you can really feel the lightness of the stick, but to be honest, it's not as night and day as I thought between these three sticks. For the next test, we got the radar out, and we're gonna grab three pucks and see which stick has the hardest shot. First up, FT475. 53. Fifty-eight, not bad. Fifty-six. Next up, FT5. Sixty-one, new high score. Sixty-two. 57, decent showing from the FT5. Last but not least, FT5 Pro. 65. 56. 66, 66, new highest score with the FT5 Pro. Overall, all three of these sticks shoot pretty well. Um, there was a clear winner though, FT5 Pro had the hardest shot with 66. In my personal opinion, you can't go wrong with the FT5 or the FT5 Pro. They both had similar scoring in the hardest shot challenge and they both feel pretty similar. So it's a toss up between those two for me. Let's see what the staff can do. Hey, I'm Gabe. I work on the sales floor here at the hockey shop. Gabe actually has the hardest shot in the store as judged by our radar gun. So we're gonna get Gabe to test these sticks here. Uh, one of these is a top of the line stick, one of them's a midline, and then one of them's a more lower end stick. You're gonna have to decipher what's what. Okay. Our first challenge, you're gonna get four pucks and you're gonna see how many targets you can hit. Okay. Four pucks. Okay, sweet. All right, we'll start with that one. Oh. First off, this thing's pretty, pretty slow. It feels slow. Oh.
Decent release. There we go. A little bit better there. All right, two for four. First impressions, not too bad. It's a little heavy, but probably just the tape. Blade feels a little slow. Um, yeah, not my favorite, but we'll see what's next. This one right off the bat feels a lot lighter. Stick handling is a lot more crisp. Let's see how it shoots. Yeah, this is a lot nicer. Lots of pop on it. Overall, pretty good pop on this one. Felt a lot better than the first one. I kind of like the all black look too. Pretty good stick. Okay, first off, this one also feels pretty good. Stick handling's nice. It's also pretty light. Not sure which one was lighter, this one or the all black, but we're gonna have a look, see how it feels. So this one's my least favorite, uh, mostly because I didn't hit any targets. We're gonna blame the stick for that. Um, aside from that, it's pretty light. It feels pretty good too. It's not very accurate, so I'm gonna have to leave this one as uh, my least favorite so far. All right, Gabe, for this challenge, we've got the radar gun. You got three pucks. You gotta see which stick shoots the hardest. Let's do it. Let's see if this one can be hot. Woo! Heavy sticks got some pop. Well, not too much. <laughs> okay, 51. Ooh, 71, too high score. It's hot. So, yeah, this was pretty hot. First shot felt nice, second one, bit of a muffin, but we cleaned it up for the last shot. Let's see what the other ones have. I think this one feels the best. Returning favorite from the uh, accuracy, so let's see if it performs. 73. Now we're hot. Yeah. 67. That's gonna to be tough to beat. Yeah. So this one felt a lot better. Same as accuracy, lots of pop. Yeah, felt really good overall. I think this one could be a surprise. <laughs> Hopefully it's a little bit more accurate this time. 69. 70. And he beat 73. Let's see. If it can redeem itself. Oh, 72. Oh. One off. Yeah, so still not my favorite, but honestly, accuracy was a lot better. So it's it's jumping up in the in the ladder there a little bit. So yeah. All right, Gabe, nice shooting. We got the three six here. What are your final thoughts? What stick would you buy? So first off, I'd probably buy this one uh, first. Just felt the release felt really good. Stick handling felt good, pop was nice. Pretty light too. This one here is, I think it's a dark horse. I really liked it. It's a little heavy, but the release felt really nice as well. So yeah, I'd probably pick this one second. Third place, I'd probably pick this one. Wasn't a fan, wasn't accurate. So we're gonna once again blame the stick of course, but yeah, I'd probably pick this one last. All right, all right, what are your guesses? What's under these? What's top, middle, and low end here? I'm going top. This one's probably low end, <laughs> and this one's gonna be middle. Yeah, you nailed it. We got FT5 Pro, FT5, and then FT475. Jeez, might be saving some money on my next trip. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, the staff was able to figure out which one was the top, middle, and low end but the challenges were pretty close. So next time you're in the store, test it all three and give your own opinion. You might surprise yourself which one you pick. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're growing our YouTube channel and we're gonna be posting all of our TikToks on YouTube as well. So make sure you check out our channel. It's gonna be growing, it's gonna be fun. See you guys.